Happy Mother's Day. So normally I do this digicast for all my digital mobsters, right? But today I want to specifically talk to the mompreneurs. In case you didn't know, my name is Jay Stone, your AI ally and the digital disruptor. And let's talk about how motherhood is intangible. So I have a good friend of mine and she, for the last uh, 20 plus years, has been a stay at home mom. And that is an understatement, but follow me here. Okay. So she hasn't really worked outside the home. And every time someone asks her what she does, she's really embarrassed to say it. She's like, I have a degree, but I feel like I haven't accomplished anything. And then I sit and I listen to her and I listen to all the things that she tells me that she does throughout the day. And we're talking about from the beginning of the morning, you're going to get up and, you know, you got breakfast for the kids and her sons are adults now, you know, they're in college, but you're still making sure that they have breakfast. You're going to the grocery store, making sure that there's grocery, you're cooking, you're baking, but then let's go into the other stuff, right? That's the house cleaning the house. That's the housekeeping stuff, right? But there's also, you know, my mother-in-law needs to go to the doctor. My father-in-law needs to take something to, you know, needs to go take care of something. My mom needs my help with catering. Uh, the cars have to be put in the shop. Somebody's got to come and re- fix the air condition. Um, I was talking to my husband and he needed some support in those things. And I have to help with my, get my brother to dialysis. And the list goes on. And then she says, I was like, I didn't talk to you. She was like, yeah, I was just exhausted. I needed to sleep. I was like, yeah, because you just worked four jobs, right? House manager, caregiver, business partner, um, maintenance support, right? You just worked four jobs in one day and you have the audacity to say that you don't work. Baby, come on. And so those are the types of things that are intangible as mompreneurs, Okay, as mothers in general, but specifically as mompreneurs, because you do all these jobs, right? And then you still have to go to work or work on your business when everybody else is asleep. You know, one of the things I see with a lot of mompreneurs is they they put in all these hours once the kids are in bed or before the kids get up in the morning, right? Just so that they can work in peace and so that they can be fully present. So let's talk about the other piece of it being intangible, right? How much mental and emotional space do your children take up in your life? Because that's something that people don't talk about, right? So how many hours of the day are you thinking about what your kids need, How many hours a day are you making yourself emotionally available to listen to them, to see what they need throughout their day, to nurture them, make sure they ate? You know, if they're upset or sad about something, they run to mom. Uh, If they need to talk through something, they run to mom. Right. So how much time and space are you making for them mentally and emotionally? Right. And then how much time are you preoccupied with? Did they eat? Did I get them some? Oh, they've got to go to this event. They've got to do this. Let me see if I have everything that they need just to make it through their day. And then let's talk about the other part. Now, I think the physical part we all know, like, but let's just acknowledge it. All of the running, right? How many practices and recitals and, you know, science projects have you had to work on, support, attend and then buying all the shit that has to go for all of this stuff to for them to be successful right because if dad can't make it everybody understands but if a mom does not show up baby what kind of mother are you so then there's the social pressures for what we people believe that mothers should look like and how they believe that they should show up and so i'm saying all of this to say so much of what you do goes under the radar. So much of what you do is unspoken and also underappreciated. So here's what I'm going to say. Mother's Day. Yeah, that's when people are supposed to appreciate it. But here's really, hopefully something I'm going to give you to empower you. Don't wait for other people to acknowledge or celebrate you. You know what you do. 
when nobody else understands what you've had to do. They may never understand. So don't look for the external validation of who you are and what you do. So besides Mother's Day, take the time to celebrate your motherhood, not just today. But celebrate multiple times. Take time for yourself. Give yourself permission to step away, to walk away, because you're not just a mother. People tend to think that like motherhood is all that they're. All, if you need a break from your kids, it's OK to say I'm not mothering today. You know, it's OK to say it's me time, because here's the deal. If you run yourself into the ground and you're sick, who benefits if you kill over dead? OK, who's going to take care of your children? I know that's a little harsh and this a little Mother's Day. But when I look at the statistics of women that die from heart attack and heart disease and stress related things. Right. That's because they didn't take the time. Who's there for the kids then? OK, so it's important to prioritize yourself, not necessarily over your kids, but certainly in conjunction with your kids. Okay. So uh, the moral of the story today is Mother's Day isn't just one day. Make it a repeat celebration throughout the year. I'm Jay Stone. Thank you for your time and happy Mother's Day.